Well, good morning, and this is something I don't normally do, but I've been getting a lot of requests lately uh, through email and through my other videos about what I'm going to do on my next project and what I'm going to do on my next project. So I guess you could call us a shop update, but again, I really don't want to make this a weekly thing. Um, first of all, future projects, projects I'm working on right now. My next project is going to be a dining table, and I made some rough sketches, talked to my wife, who of course is my design consultant on just about everything I build. And I came up with a couple designs. First of all, it's got to be a table that seats eight, maybe 10 people. So it's going to be six feet long, 42 inches wide. Um, I may or may not be putting a leaf in it. If I do put a leaf in, I'm going to put a butterfly leaf in it. And I came up with a couple designs. I'm going to bring these a little closer to the camera so you can take a look at them. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, we're going to call this one a and this one B. Let me show you A first. Again, I'll bring this in a little bit closer to the camera. Um, this is the table and ignore the size of the legs. Those are going to be much smaller. Um, but what I've got here is a curved trestle design. Let me see if I can get that centered in the camera. Uh, curved trestle design underneath here. Um, I like it. My only concern is after putting this little model together was that if you get, you know, three people on each side here is that their legs are going to hit these supports. Uh, it's going to be nice for the person on the end, but not so much for the people on the sides. Now I've got the second design, which I kind of like a lot better. Um, again, the legs are a little bit more representative of what the thickness will be. This is the scale, one six scale. And there's going to be some bent ends on the trussle here and a piece that goes across. All the legs are going to be at a 45 degree angle to the, to the, to the corners. Uh, this is going to represent, both these tables are going to represent a, a, a pretty significant challenge on some of the joinery and some of the construction of this. Again, let me know what you think. Again, this one is B and the other one is A. Leave comments below. Let me know which one you think I should build. One of the things I have been working on recently is the Hander Power Tool Series in conjunction with Mitch Peacock from the Maidenwood uh, Workshop over in the UK. I'll leave a link to his uh, YouTube channel below in the description. Uh, Mitch is a very talented, very, very talented hand tool woodworker. And uh, we've gotten some very good response. We do need some more suggestions. We're going to be shooting a third video here pretty soon. Uh, or I'm going to be shooting one. Mitch is going to be shooting his own. And... Uh, I'm going to let you wait for that to see what it actually is, but I think you're going to like it. Uh, another thing that I rarely do on any of my videos is do some shout outs. Now, one of them is to a couple guys, and I'm wearing a shirt from them, is Mark and Brian over at Woodworker 631. They just recently completed a uh, very, very obscenely large hanging hand tool cabinet. This thing is mammoth. You could put hundreds of tools in here. It's, it's awesome. Uh, one of the things you really need to do is go look at their website also. Um, he's got some pictures of some stuff he's done in the past or they've done in the past. Some of the stuff that they've done with uh, on Krenov style furniture is just incredible. You really have to look, take a look at it. These guys have a lot of talent. Uh, they're very, very skilled and they have a lot to offer a lot of other woodworkers. They are actually watching one of my older uh, actually, the last hand or power I did where we did the, the wedge through Morris and Tenon. And I made a mention of, I didn't have a 3 8 inch chisel. I wish I had one. And they actually sent me one, a very, very nice one, a, a Stanley Sweetheart 7, um, I think it's a 750. Yeah, 750, a 3 8 inch. Thanks, uh, Mark and Brian, and I, I will put this to good use. You guys do need to go check out their channel. Another guy I really like to watch, is, his name is Mitch. And he's up in New England. He runs a company called High Falls Furniture Company and uh, does a lot of great woodworking videos. He also has these great videos where he just talks to the camera and us, the audience. And <laughs> sometimes they're just funny as hell. I really like listening to him talk. Um, Mitch, I know you say you don't get a lot of love from other woodworkers and nobody else mentions you. So I figured I'd, I'd give you an honorable mention there. Another guy that we all know um, has been around a while, his name's Matt Cremona. I'm, I'm sure you've heard of him. Um, 
I've known Matt since I first started posting on YouTube and he's helped me out a lot and he's helped us all out. Uh, he does a lot of great videos. He does a lot of very inspirational work. He's very passionate about what he does. And uh, thank you, Matt. And everybody thanks you for what you've done for the community. And also congratulations on the new baby, JR. Uh, best of luck and best of wishes to you and your family. Well, that's all I have right now. Uh, again, make sure you visit the sites I mentioned. I'll put links below. And uh, hopefully we'll get started on this ta dining table build soon. Make sure you leave a comment whether you like A or B down below. And, and I'd like to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching.